In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is, if everything works, to create a custom plugin that you can use on your browser, that it being your own plugin in Chrome. And we're gonna use Claude 3.5 Sonnet, so I can show you how incredible the coding capabilities are of this thing. The plugin that we're gonna build is very easy, something that I wish I have, I wish I had previously. I know before you barrage me in the comments, this probably already exists, but it's going to be something that I can press the plugin and I can save my prompts that I use on a frequently basis within the plugin so that I can then, if I want to use my prompts again, I can press my plugin button. It'll open up the prompts that I want. I can one click paste that into my clipboard and then copy that into my clipboard and then paste that into whichever language model that I'm using, whether that's ChatGPT, Claude, whatever it is. So um, we're gonna do this live, hopefully it works. If not, it's gonna be a big fail, but I think it will work. So we're just gonna go very simple prompting. I've got Claude 3.5 Sonnet there selected. I do have the paid version because I just need more messages for these things, but you can probably use the free version and have enough messages to create your own custom plugin for Chrome, for your Chrome extension. Okay, so we're gonna say, uh, help me build a Chrome extension that will allow me to store my prompts that I frequently use. Pretty easy prompt. I don't know if it's gonna understand that, but let's see. So it's building a couple of files that you need to have. I think it's three to four or five files that you need to have in a folder. Um, and it's driving us through at the moment. So it's creating the manifest JSON, the pop-up HTML. Uh, the pop-up JSON, uh, JavaScript, sorry. It's even creating a little icon. <laughs> um, cool, so now it's saying uh, to use this extension, create a new directory and save these files in it. Uh, go to Chrome, extensions. Okay, so I need to create a folder really and save these there. I'll do that in a second. So the files are here already, so I can just download them, download files. That's already there, and then I can see the other files here already, right? I'm just gonna tell it to create all the files for me to save. I don't think it's done that. Cool, now it's creating all of them. All right, so I have here the, yeah, the manifest, the pop-up, the pop-up uh, JavaScript, and the CSS for the styling. So let's go download the manifest, download file, uh, download the pop-up HTML, download the pop-up JavaScript, we're gonna download the styling, uh, and apparently I just need to put all that into, uh, I need to create an icon as well, but I'll just get it to create it for me. All right, it's done the SVG files, which is good, so done that one. That one as well, I'll download both. So now I need to put all of that into the one folder. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so now if I go to this, I'm just following it like step by step. I've never done this before. So it's kind of, it works, it's idiot proof. I need to go to Chrome extensions. I need to enable developer mode, which I've already done that. Great, if you haven't done it, yours will be here. And I need to, all right, I need to just upload the folder, I think. Load unpacked. Load unpacked. Uh, find the file, I'm guessing. YouTube pop up and go select. Okay, so I've got an error. Uh, I don't know if I need to compress it. So I think it's just me that I haven't named the files correctly. Let's try this again. So the manifest.json isn't named appropriately. And the pop-ups aren't named correctly. Yeah, pop-up, pop-up HTML, pop-up JS, JS as well, style CSS. And style as well is just needs to. All right, let's try again. I'm going to go to, call load unpacked. Nearly there, but it looks like the icon is the error. Cool, since the image is the problem, I'm just gonna to go to Canva and create the PNG here. I wanna get all the errors live because I think that's really important to do. I'm gonna create a design and it's told me to create the design in a 128 by 128. I'm just gonna do a quick copy element. That'll do. I'm going to download that as a PNG. Save this one in that folder. 
uh, and name it appropriately. I think I need to name it this. Okay, so I have the images and everything new on the one file, on the one folder done correctly. I'm gonna retry this bad boy, uh, load unpacked, load the folder and okay, it seems that my <laughs> extension is here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can put it into my, there it is, my prompt saver. Um, into my pins and go to GPT, funnily enough, and try it out. What happens? Whoa, I can enter my prompt here. So let's go, um, uh, I don't know, make a uh, meta description from this content, ensure that it is less than 160 characters in a length, so if I save this, whoa, if I can copy it right away and put it in my, <laughs> there you go. There's my new Chrome uh, extension, custom made. And I don't know, I made that in 15 minutes. I had to little like play around with it, but done. And there's my Chrome extension that I've just created in a matter of seconds, well, in a matter of minutes. Um, this is the whole thing, like this just opens up to a world of possibilities if you don't know how to code, but you have really good ideas. Try Claude Sonnet 3.5 or 3.5 Sonnet, it is unreal. I hope you really like this, this is just like me playing around, having a little bit of fun with uh, seeing all the things you can do with all these incredible AI tools. If you wanna learn more about this stuff, how to use ChatGPT, how to use Claude to, for sp specific things, we've got a community called the AI Ranking and Automation Hub where it's really tailored to those who want to learn how to use AI tools to rank your website in using SEO AI tools uh, and just general marketing and automation. It's a lot of fun. We've got a lot of members in there. Um, that way you don't feel alone in your learning stuff. But anyway, check it out. More importantly, uh, go check out uh, Claude Sonnet 3.5. It is the real deal. You just checked it out live. I mean, how cool was that? Cheers.